Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was getting ready to film another video and I thought I would quickly film this video for you guys because I think it'll be helpful. I did a video like this a couple years back, like four to five years ago, and I still get comments on it and it's sort of the same, but slightly different. So I thought I would do an updated one since I am still facing the same problem. Pretty much, I'm gonna show you how I even out my eyelids because that's something that I deal with a lot. So I guess just a little backstory to my eyes. I will insert a photo here. Actually, my eyes used to be like a single lid, almost like a mono lid. And a lot of people think that I got surgery on my eyes, but it's like if I did get surgery. I wouldn't be having this problem. I haven't had surgery. I think it's just as you grow older, your face does change. I've gotten comments before saying that, you know, people think that I've gotten plastic surgery on my face because I look so different of how I did when I was like 10 years old. So my eyes, this is the problem. This eye, my left eye, it is like a double lid, a triple lid. There's a lot of folds in this eye and this eye always stays the same. It, it doesn't really ever change. This eye is the problem. As you can see the difference, right now this is a mono lid, a single lid, I don't really know what you want to call it, a hooded eye, but it does not look the same as this one. This one has so much lid space here, this one doesn't. I actually woke up today with my eyes being even, but I would wake up with them being even, I'll do my skincare, and then maybe if it's like my eye cream that's too heavy when I put my eye cream on, maybe it's weighing down the skin that's on the eye that it droops down to a single lid, but if I was to just get, you know, this thing and just go like this, it will stay for a little bit and then it will fade out. And the technique that I'm about to show you, it might not work on you. I think everybody has different skin around their eyes, but hopefully me showing you this can help you out somehow. And I don't do this very often. I honestly haven't done this in a very long time. I think the last time I did this trick was back in maybe like February or March, and then suddenly my eyes drooped down. I think when you think about it a lot, because I was starting to think about it, I was like, oh, my eyes have been pretty even for a really long time. Like, I don't even need eyelid tape anymore. And then it just drooped down. So when you think about it, I feel like that's when it starts happening. So try not to think about it. I know it's really hard not to think about it. You're always looking at yourself, and especially me, like I'm always on camera. So my eyelid actually drooped down last week and I had to do this trick last week. So today is Thursday, the 23rd of July. And then last week, yeah, actually last week Thursday, my eyelid drooped down. I did this trick. I know you guys don't even know what the trick is yet and I'm just like pre-explaining it. Sometimes it works on the first go. Sometimes it doesn't. I have to keep doing it and then my eyelid would stay like that. It's different every time. I don't really know what it is. Um, so that's one thing that I wanted to mention. So back to last week, I did it. Well, I did it on Thursday. It didn't work. So I did it again on Friday. I wore it out for the whole day on Friday and I think Saturday. And then on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it was fine and now it's Thursday. So it lasted for about four to five days. Like I mentioned earlier, before it lasted me almost, I don't know, five months, six months, and I didn't have to use this trick, but then this time around, it only lasted me four days. So there is going to be different results every time you do it, I feel. I don't really know what's the cause of uneven eyes, honestly. Um, my mom actually has this issue as well. Her eyes are really uneven, but I think for her one, if she was to do this trick, it probably wouldn't work. And I think another question I'll probably get asked is, would I ever get eyelid surgery? And I mean, I feel like any Asian girl that has uneven eyes has thought about getting surgery, but I personally wouldn't. I used to, wanted to get it. It was like something that I really, really wanted. But as I grow older, I'm, I don't know, now that I like know this trick and there's eyelid tape, I personally wouldn't. I'm just a little bit scared to cut around my eyes. I feel like that is just really scary for me personally, but if that's something that you wanna do, you know, you do you boo. I'm just too scared to go under the knife. You know, sometimes it's annoying, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. See, I just rub my eye like this, and then it's just back to normal, but it won't last for long. Okay, so enough blabbering. I'm gonna show you what I do. So pretty much what you'll need is just eyelid tape. I'm using a double-sided eyelid tape. There is one that's just one-sided, so the other side is not sticky. I think if you just get one-sided, it works fine because what I do with this one, I actually tap off the stickiness. Yeah, you can just get this at like a Japanese store or any Asian store. You can actually make this yourself at home if you're really good with like little scissors to cut around sellotape. You could do that, but it's just easy when it's pre-made and the shape is already there for you. 
cute. So yeah, I'm just gonna peel it off. I'm gonna stick it on my finger just to get rid of some of the tackiness because it's like extremely tacky. So what I'm filming today is one of my three looks for a review video. And usually what I do for those reviews, I do one eye off camera and then I'll do this eye on camera. I don't know why I always do this eye on camera. I think it's just a better angle for the camera, but I always do this eye last. You can see my eyes back to normal, but then it goes back to normal. So what I'll do is do this eye off camera and this is when I'll put the tape on. So after I have my base on, if you're not putting on makeup that day, then it doesn't, you can disregard this section. But if you are putting makeup on, I don't really know how you would do this because you're not filming a video or anything and you're not doing one eye first and then one eye second. You usually do both eyes first, right? Um, so what I would recommend is maybe like when you have your base on, put the eyelid tape and then do your brows and then take the eyelid tape off. I don't know. Just do it to your routine. So what I'm gonna do is put the eyelid tape in. I need to get pretty close to my mirror here. And I'm just going to put it where my eyelid would actually naturally crease. Honestly, really hard to get the positioning right, to be honest, like I always struggle with this. Okay, I think that will do. And this is what I mean. I like tap it off so it's not so sticky. And that is the first step. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera. And that takes me about like 15 to 20 minutes. So we're leaving this on for 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll come back and show you what I do next. So I am back after 15 minutes. I am just waiting for my lash glue to dry. So this eye look is not done yet. It looks a little bit weird, but lashes always bring it together. So I'm just waiting for that to dry. And I thought I would just come on here and take off the tape and just kind of further explain things. So the reason why I'm doing this like in the morning rather than going to sleep with it, I think because that's what I said in my first video from years ago, I would go sleep with the tape, but I realized that going to sleep with the tape because your eyes are not open and it's closed. Although it's good to like, I guess, put it in there so your skin can remember, but I just felt like when I did that, it actually made it worse. Like the mono lid was much more mono than if I didn't do it, if you know what I mean. So I thought it would be better to just do it during the day and not do it for so long. I think if your skin in this area is really, really heavy, then I would say wear it for the whole day, but I wouldn't go sleep with it. But then again, what do I know? I have no idea about anything. It's just from my trial and error for many, many years. So I personally would just wear it for the day. Um, and I found that sometimes for me, when I wear it for too long, it doesn't work. Again, it makes it more mono than what it was before that. So I find that just putting it in for like 10 to 20 minutes in the morning while I'm doing my other eye, it works perfectly and it stays like that for much longer. But obviously this time around, it didn't stay like that for that long. It only stayed like that for four days. My eyes naturally Actually are supposed to be like this it's just this eye does fall down and I don't know I haven't really seen many people with my sort of eyelids situation that has a lot of folds so I don't know if you have like single lids like if I was imagining it on like my boyfriend who does have single lids I don't really know if this would work to, for him to get double lids so I, I don't know this is just what's working for me and hopefully it will help you out but that is my situation. So that's the reason why I'm doing it in the morning and why I'm doing it for such a short period. But last week I did do it for a longer period um, and it did last me for four days. So I don't know if today is going to work, but today it didn't really feel like it was so heavy. So I'm thinking it's going to work for today. I'm just going to peel that off now. And there we go. And what I'm gonna do is just, because I'm gonna put makeup on, if you're not putting makeup on, you don't need to do this. But I'm just gonna take my baby wipe and I'm just gonna wipe off the like sticky residue um, because I am gonna put eyeshadow on top. I don't want it to be patchy. So that's all I do. And then I'll go in with my eyeshadow primer. I feel like that's gonna stay for the day and I feel like it's gonna stay like that for a couple of days. Hopefully. I know it's pretty simple. I know eyelid tape is nothing new to get double lids, but I'm using it more of a tool than rather than like a sticker. But yeah, I think that is it for today. Maybe I will come back maybe tomorrow and show you guys what my eyes look and we can see how long it lasts this time around. So today's Thursday. We'll see. Um, but that is 
how I fix my uneven eyes.